I'm here with PETA from District 12, the winner of the Hunger Games. So, what was your strategy or tactic, you know? For staying alive? Yep. Yep, all right. Uh, well, my strategy for staying alive was to hide and be, like, one with nature, honestly. Like, I would be, like, hiding behind trees, and, like, I would just, I'd just run and spirit people from behind and just, like, show no emotion. Okay. I am a real American. Fight for the rights of every man. I am a real American. Fight for what's right. Fight for your life. I feel strong about right or wrong. Katniss affect your strategy in any way? Uh, yeah, they affected my strategy by, I like, I loved her very much, and I wanted her to be safe, as safe as possible. So I joined with the carrier, or the careers, whatever, and uh, I wanted to keep her safe by leading them in the wrong direction while she was over here taking arrows to them from a distance, and I like, I love her. So do you truly love her, or was that just an act? Uh, I I feel like I'm about, on a scale from 1 to 10, I'm about a 9.5 with my love for uh, Katniss. Do you think she loves you back? She sure acted like it in the cave. I'm here with Katniss from District 12, another winner of the Hunger Games. So, did you not showing emotions affect you playing the game in any way? In a way, yes, just because um, I knew if I let my emotions get to me, killing and winning would be harder. But when you met Rue, your emotions did show through. Yeah, Rue did really change the game for me because I felt like I could trust her and uh, she trusted me and she reminded me of my little sister, Prim. And like having that and like having a little sister look up to you, you know, like, and then watching her die. Back in the wild again And I feel right at home Where I belong I had that feeling Coming over me again Just like it happened so many I want to win for her because she did not deserve what she wanted and that... Yeah. We all saw the burial that you gave her. Why'd you decide to give her a burial? Because she was a peaceful person. She didn't cause any harm to anyone. And I just think that the districts need to know that, that what these games are doing to innocent kids. And uh, I really want everyone to see that. In some parts you showed, you know, you liked him and then you acted really disappointed when he joined with the tributes. What do you feel about PETA? Well, PETA coming from my district and it was just kind of like a, I'm not, I do have feelings for him because clearly I, I care about him a lot and uh... <laughs> realizing that he I maybe I kind of do like him and I kept thinking about him throughout the games like is Peter okay I'm like why am I doing this so yeah that's when I started realizing I had feelings for him and especially when I saw him dead and I found out we both could win and I just completely like I didn't want to get attached to him you know like yeah. and then watch him die in the end so but then when I found out we both could win I my feelings really did change and I was willing to risk my life for him
guys were pretty good friends. How did you feel when her and Peter started showing affection? Were you jealous? Uh, yeah, at first, deep down inside, I was deeply saddened. But in the end, I knew in order for her to survive, she had to do what she had to do. So I was just hoping that she was going to get through it. So. Such a lonely day, and it's mine. The most loneliest day of my life. The Capitals' rules have changed. There can only be one winner of this year's Hunger Games. Attention, the rules have changed. There can now be two winners.